Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video where if you are taking contraceptives you are never going to have children. So it's just a risk that you have to assess and say I'm taking it and for me it was just something that I thought okay I'm having a child I'm taking that I mean I think that I wasn't even taking you the risk I have to be honest. When I started pills I just knew these are for preventing you from giving birth way to it. That's at least that it was always given like that. Uh, this is a continuation of the video that I did a uh, few weeks ago and this is or oh, how has contraceptive actually negatively impacted my fertility. You know, uh, I'm over 30. <laughs> to be honest, I'm going already switch to direction 35. And I would say, when you talk about you using contraceptives, it's always the same thing. No, you are never going to have children. And this is why you don't have children, why you're over 30. Uh, it has also come from the channel a couple of times because we have done also a couple of times that relating if we want to start a family or why we don't have a family and people sometimes were like, well, just because it's fertility issues and stuff. And yeah, might be. But today I'm here to face my demons. It's obviously a decision that I made when I was 18 and I've been doing that for the fear of having a child when I'm not ready. I'm ready to discuss about it and then talk about it. And again, from somebody who works in pharmaceuticals, there is no medication that you can take that doesn't have side effect. And it is kind of known that fertility or infertility is then one of the contraceptives side effect. And how has it impacted my fertility? First, in general, there is no study, there is no study, and I think I have debated with so many people about this always fertility or oh, you're taking contraceptive your fertility what 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 and i'm always sometimes from time to time debating with people about this there is no study that really says using contraceptive pills reduce your chances of getting children in the future for me the decision to get pills was based on the fact that always I was 18 I was not ready to I mean that was so prominent that I even that was a very strong decision I was like 18 ain't happening I have a boyfriend no 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 it's not happening now and, and I just went on that and I was like I'm getting there and I talked to my mom about it and then I went to the hospital I got I got that uh, there's no study that proves that uh, that really does the use of contraceptive regardless of how long you've used them leads to that especially the pills I did say specifically for the pills and the other thing is that they also no study to really prove that women who were found infertile after using contraceptives they were fertile before so that is always now nah, that's like lengthy the biologist thinking I'm like you can't tell on one side you don't have a uh, that mm, if you had a child if you had a child before I would say it, okay then you know definitely you were fertile you had a child and then maybe after using the pill for five years or so even you're not you don't have a child but when you don't have a child you just I have to say also for myself I don't know you don't know I have had this conversation with my gynecologist also and I have no idea because at some point was also asking me, oh, oh, you know, you're over 30, when do you want to have children? Blah, blah. Like, I'm like, does the pills have anything to do with fertility or whatever? I was like, cannot prove that, cannot really say that because some people who were found infertile after the pill, they just know evidence that they were fertile before, and this is always the issue. And I think as a woman, now I'm speaking for myself taking people who has been always taking contraceptives for a while Ali you're really annoying me right now <laughs> seriously what are you doing where do you want to go excuse me there's like a little something happening in the background I 
but now we have a bigger place and I just feel my stuff in uh, peace. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like that though. I'm sorry. Okay, let me wait just for Ali to go by. In the meantime. No, no, no. Go, go. Go, go, baby, go. I would just want to sit here and say, for myself, as a woman who has been taking contraceptive for a long time, I just take it as I know that it does. This is now something I started thinking later on, not at the beginning. Because I think most people start using contraceptive at a very younger age and you don't have to think about it from my perspective and what I was thinking then. Nothing as about what is going to happen 30, 20, 15, 5 years later. You know the situation you are in is not ready. So I would say it is difficult because I think you really don't know if you are fertile until when you try to have a child. And then if you dis and and ah uh, it is sad because I think when you start trying to have children and then you're not getting them you can't really, you don't have solid proof to say it is based on the contraceptives that we're taking. So this is my actual take on it. From my perspective, it's not really clear if the pill has an impact on you, on your fertility, and it's not something that you can prove. Although I wanted to, I was thinking I should do it, but like, I was looking for, let me see, I think there's some stuff that you can do in life as a fertility test. But I, I just feel it, I mean, you can do, internet has a whole lot of uh, bullshit that you can also search out and see if you're fatal. I have never tried a fertility test, but I think you never, never know if the pills does actually impact your fertility. You can just speculate about it, if you then maybe you're not getting pregnant afterward, but I think unless if you had children before, then you are sure. What I've read online is that the pills should, once the pill leaves your system, which should be stay somewhere around 24 hours, your fertility should go back. Now this is online. I didn't do this experiment online. Your fertility should go back to the way your body was before taking the pills. Okay, whole lot of things, information that you get from online. What do you know what your fertility was when you were 18? And oh, I think until you get a child, you don't know what your fertility was. I, I just think to prove fertility, you need to know, I have a child. When you don't have a child, before, and you haven't had a child before, you can't tell. So it's just a risk that you have to assess and say, I'm taking it. And for me, it was just something that I thought, okay. I'm having a child, I'm checking that, I mean, I think that I wasn't even checking the risk, to be honest, I just knew that pills, I have to be honest. When I started pills, I just knew these are for preventing you from giving birth way too early. That's, at least, that's, it was always given like that. So the first thing that I've always had or always read on the internet, and this, maybe, of course, I did decisions, I made decisions when I was, uh, 18 and I wish I had looked into this a little bit more, but man, I'm telling you, I have experienced some stuff. It's not like I myself have personally experienced it, but just girls that I grew up with who got pregnant and those things just really scared me. I never checked anything before I started taking the pill. I only started checking stuff, especially when I moved to Germany and I was also then grown over 30 and then all oh, my friends are kind of saying things to me like how oh, are you are oh, it's because you have contraceptive what 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 yeah so one of the things that I started looking into is how long does it actually take for the contraceptives to leave your body that depends on what you're taking if you have seen my previous video that I did uh, I'm just going to leave that here like what have I been taking and side effects regarding that, I have been always taking contraceptive pills. If I have to answer this based on the instruction on how you take the pill, you should take the pill every day around the same time. That is what is highly recommended. Why is it like that? Because the pill, these pills work 
only for 24 hours and this is why the doctor always or whoever is nurse they say take them every single day at the same time if you happen to forget one pill for 24 hours you go without getting anything you might get pregnant and now that is the right answer there if you if i have just to think about that you could possibly get pregnant just by forgetting one pill or for going for one day without taking any pill that means they work for 24 hours and after that they are no longer in your system so i would just say that i did i was always when i had this life i have to check some facts and i checked this there is not really an actual factual stuff the range is quite what i've seen online the range is so massive they say though online i think from some studies you need it, it's weird because i think they of course the variation there has a lot of variability depending on who they work differently in different people so they say it, it's somewhere between 24 hours to three to three months that's what they say so they literally say if you stop the pills you have somewhere between 24 hours to three months to get pregnant but i when they are recommending you to take the pills i mean from my common sense i take it like that they are recommending you to take it every single day and they say if you miss it you're going to get pregnant i i think when you are going to if you stop the pills then after 24 hours they're not in your system anymore i never took a break because again it's just things that you hear you know around schools the universities from your friends no if you're taking a break i was taking pills at some point for months when i didn't even have a boyfriend because i was nervous i've had some story no if you stop them for maybe two months or so and come back your body might react differently so it's just like okay good i will be taking pills a year even if i don't have a boyfriend for for that year yeah. so um very heavy topic have a video very i would say also a very emotional one just because this topic for me is very important and i think I'm ready to open up a bit and maybe talk about more topics like this, especially when the channel is no longer more focused on traveling and cooking. If you enjoy this, give us a like and subscribe to this channel. And if there's anything else, maybe in the future, something that I think is important to, to do, just a girl talk and a very honest chit chat about uh, my journey or my experiences as a woman or things I'm dating whatsoever, like contraceptive, which I think are very important and for females, then I'll come around here and we have a chat. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.